Each day, new diagnostic and therapeutic techniques are discovered in the gastroenterology field. Now, there are great advances, such as the argon plasma coagulator equipment to stop bleeding and to treat cancer in a palliative way. We can also perform sutures within the gastrointestinal tract very easily and without any risk to the patient. We have the latest generation of digital equipment with image magnification modality, practically at microscopic levels. This means that a millimetric lesion can be enlarged up to 150 times. This is one of the most important advances in the endoscopes, since it has allowed the early identification and treatment of multiple pre-malignant and malignant lesions that were invisible through the use of conventional endoscopy. We are presenting the untold history of endoscopy. From the gastro camera to the modern video endoscopes. More than 50 years of technology serving humanity. After watching this second video, we are more interested in learning about the latest technology to detect and eradicate cancer formed in the stomach and in the colon. Dr. Murasaka, what we will see now starts with a video of the interior of the stomach with magnification and zoom, isn't it? That's right. Well, the latest worldwide technology is the video endoscope with magnification. This means that the very small lesions measuring millimeters can be enlarged with video endoscopes up to 150 times. We can stain them with special liquids. This is called chromoscopy. In this way, the very small lesions enlarged and stained using chromoscopy, we can differentiate the lesions from the normal tissue. We can detect flat polyps. The flat polyps are the latest in technology for the detection of early cancer of the colon. We detect very small polyps measuring millimeters, and we identify and stain them using a laser, and we can cure them. And regarding enlargement with zoom, we can detect, and it is very important, the detection in the gastroesophageal reflux and the Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus is a displacia within the gastroesophageal junction. Now we can orient ourselves with zoom and see where to take the biopsy. Generally, in the gastroesophageal junction, small tongues can be seen that cause lesions that is caused by years of reflux. Due to reflux, the gastroesophageal junction forms small tongues and we can observe the biopsy with great definition and know if the epithelium is normal or dysplasic. If it is the intestinal epithelium, it has been formed provoked by reflux of the gastroesophageal junction. We take the biopsy and we can accurately see this epithelium, know knowing exactly through this modern technology where the, the Barrett's esophagus. The Barrett's esophagus today is considered precancerous. If Barrett's esophagus is detected, we can treat it with laser. There are several techniques such as mucoseptomy, high definition laser and high power in order to burn this area and coagulate it. Therefore, these are the modern advances in detecting cancer five to 10 years before the patient suffers. We will see how to detect and treat the early gastric cancer with the use of a laser beam. Also, we will see the other organs related to the digestion that now can be observed thanks to the endoscope development. Isn't that right, Dr. Murasaka? That's right, Caroline. Look, in the last years, we've been trying cure early gastric cancer. It is completely cured with mucoseptomy. And within the mucoseptomy, we have several alternatives and techniques, like the argon plasma laser. Early lesions can be coagulated with high power. We're talking about early cancer because for advanced cancers, we still treat with surgery and we choose the treatment. There are two types of cancer, early gastric cancer and advanced gastric cancer. And the main objective of the modern endoscopy is to detect it in its early stages, 
or before it becomes malignant dysplasis. When we detect these lesions, such as precancerous lesions with dysplasia, are detected in their early stages, all of these lesions can be cured. We can use the mucosectomy that we will talk about later on, as well as the use of the argon plasma coagulator. With this laser, we can detect small lesions. And, with a special catheter, passes through a channel of biopsies that we call the channel of work. We pass the catheter and we use the therapeutic endoscope. We can use very large catheters and with high frequency and high power. We attack with the laser these small lesions. We burn them and then do a series of follow-ups. Most of the time it is curable in early gastric cancer. But now a little bit bigger, we can remove them in sections like blocks. Like if we had several layers, imagine like a carpet on the floor. In the mucosa and submucosa, it's considered a cancer in its early stage. Therefore, we use a variety of techniques of mucoseptomy. The endoscopy mucoseptomy is now a reality that is used in our own area. But we encourage people to detect this in its early stage. We inject a liquid in the mucosa and submucosa, and it makes a layer that inflates. When this layer inflates, with a liquid, it creates what we call an edema. And there are a variety of techniques. We can use a variety of models and cut real blocks and use endoscopes with dual channels. One grabs it and the other cuts it. Or if it's very small, the lesion, we put a rubber band like those we put in the esophageal varices. We bind and suck that tissue. And after, we cut it. There are a variety of alternatives and models of, uh, of forceps. In short, the conclusion is gastric cancer in its early stage is curable, also using endoscope when detected on time. Gastric cancer in its advanced stage is only cured with surgery. Therefore, all human beings that are adults must have an endoscopy and a complete colon exam every few years to prevent. Unfortunately, in the world, there are lots of problems with cancer of the stomach and of the colon. Why? Because people lack education. The majority have to go to a doctor. The majority, um, all, all patients must go. Everyone should visit their doctor and get an endoscopy or colonoscopy every few years. We recommend here an upper endoscopy every three years and a complete colon exam every five years in search of early lesions. We see a lot of stomach cancer and of the colon and all of these people detected in the advanced stage have never gone to the doctor for an endoscopy. For example, we vaccinate children when they are born. We have vaccines, DPT, polio, and measles, and we prevent. In adults, these exams are to prevent. Many people say they don't need an endoscopy, but we all need it. It is like going to a mechanic. We take the car to check the engine, check the brakes, and the loose screws. The exams are simple, actually. We use special sedatives. We give the patient a sedative equal to a bottle of liquor of two, two types. They relax and they don't feel anything. We check them for five to seven minutes doing the upper endoscopy and colon exam is approximately 20 minutes, which prevents a real living nightmare of chemotherapy, surgery, hospitalization, and monetary expenses. And after all, it could result in death. This is serious. It's not a joke. All patients, adults, must go to their doctor to get a check. That way we can prevent serious illnesses such as advanced cancers.